person, woman, man, camera, <laughs> TV. If you can yeah, do was, that, you get to be president. I was going to say circus, elephant, ringmaster, <laughs> Stetson. Hey, guys. I'm zooming in. God, it's been five years since we last saw each other, or has it been five months? We left with COVID just kicking in. We weren't sure what it would mean. I don't think any of us thought the degree to which it has been really a nightmare. Even if you thought that COVID was going to be a big deal in the middle of March, what you wouldn't have said was, the country's going to shut down for months. There's going to be 40 million people unemployed. And we're going to have nationwide protests revolving around questions of racial justice. Trump had a pretty good role for three and a half years. But the one thing that, that almost any observer said is he hasn't been tested by a crisis, which right. almost all presidents are at some point. He's literally got the 1918 pandemic, the 1960s civil rights struggle, and the economic crisis of the 1930s all wrapped into one. And the question is not only who wins, but what's left of the country in the aftermath. We acted quickly. We acted early. We're doing a great job. You're pro-Black Lives Matter. And Donald Trump's out there telling you that Black Lives Matter are anarchists and terrorists. It's another way that in which Trump is out of step with where the country is right now. The story of the Biden candidacy really begins with Black voters in the South. They are the reason that Joe Biden is going to be at the top of the Democratic ticket. Get up, America! Take back this country! Biden's the worst possible opponent for Donald Trump. What Donald Trump didn't want was another 70-something-year-old white guy. He wants to make his opponent the other. He would have loved to run against Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, someone who he can make people afraid of, right? Who's afraid of Joe Biden? Even if they're not excited about him, they're familiar with him. They look at him as somebody we know, he's been there before. It's nostalgic, but it's also appealing to people's deepest desires for security and empathy. And Democrats are saying, listen, we may have our differences. Joe Biden may be kind of an old shoe, <laughs> but man, we'll fucking wear that shoe. We gotta get a new set of footwear. It's not over. Biden's gotta go to do a convention. He's gotta make a VP pick. There are gonna be debates. As good as this looks for Biden right now, shit happens. <laughs> People say, you know, election day is November 3rd. It's like, election day is maybe November 3rd. The election starts in September. As we move further into the fall, Joe Biden and Donald Trump are gonna get out there more than they have. And to the extent that they're out there, we're gonna be out there with them. How are we gonna cover this differently? Well, we may be the only people out there covering. Yeah, exactly. We're the only people out there. In this moment, the lack of on-the-ground reporting is acute, right? So this season, I think we're going to be giving people something that they're desperately hungry for. We have a big opportunity here to boldly go where a few people have gone recently. <laughs> and if we have to wear hazmat suits, so be it. Fun.